Everybody wants to breathe clean air. Everybody wants the opportunity to breathe clean air. Unfortunately, all around the world, in cities, people are facing unprecedented air quality problems. 100,000 cars travel over the Brooklyn Queens Expressway every day. And it's not just cars, it's trucks and buses, and those are diesel powered. And so you have a lot of particulate emissions that are coming from these types of things. People in the community were saying, you know, I have health problems, my family has health problems, my dog has health problems. And they believed that it was related to things that were happening in the environment. This community has struggled for decades, if not a whole century, with bad air quality. It's something that people didn't really think much about, and they didn't connect their incidences of asthma and respiratory disease to air quality, but they do now. If you wanted to go measure air quality, the instruments that are run by the state are $15,000, $20,000. And so we said, how can we solve this problem? How can we bring down the cost? How can we make it easier to use? And that's what air casting was developed to address, to empower communities to be able to document the environmental hazards in their neighborhood, share it with a bigger audience, and make for policy change. The way air casting works is there's an air beam which measures tiny particles floating in the air and it connects to a smartphone app. From there, you get real-time feedback about what the air quality is like. If we're talking about bad air, there's lots of different types of pollutants, and we're measuring one of those pollutants. Fine particulate matter, also known as PM2.5, they can get straight into our lungs and pass through into our bloodstream. Short-term, it can lead to asthma and bronchitis. Long-term, it can create problems like cancer and heart disease. The Airbeam technology has allowed us to really understand the severity of a situation in this neighborhood and to actually, you know, put a number to it, which is really helpful in creating policy around air quality. To me, the future of clean air, it's about community innovation. It's about communities becoming empowered, using all the tools at their disposal, including high-tech solutions. But it's not just about the technology, it's about the technology in the hands of communities.